Hi, someone wanted to take a look at this uh, KRK TWTK 0012 tweeter from the Rokit 6 that I've got. Um, and this one failed due to the black gunk of death. And I thought we'd just take a look inside it. Let's go. And if we take off the soft dome uh, outer there, it's just uh, glued on, easy to peel off. It looks like we've got some, some foam inside here. That's just stuck onto the magnet inside there. Anyway, it looks like it's got the coil on the outside, which on this one is uh, blowing. So, oh, look. So we've got our coil on the outside. So this is a moving coil. One. Jeez, that, that, that's not many. T oh, no. Is that just like one? That's just a connecting. No, is that it? That's it. Wow. That's the entire coil. Are you kidding me? Wow, looks like it's just one big solid turn around there. That's, that's crazy. So let's have a squiz at this under the Tagano microscope. Here we go. Here's the wire coming in. And what? Oh no, sorry, that looked like one wire strip. You probably saw that on uh, HD. It didn't make, uh, didn't make sense at all. But uh, once you get under there... It's obviously multiple turns. You just need X amount of magnification. But it's like right up the top of that magnet. So how many turns? I don't know. Count the turns in there. So somewhere in this, it's been blowing. Um, so let's check around there. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know where it's blowing, but... Anyway, um, so there's like 10 turns or something on that. There's some foam on top, which uh, I don't know what it actually does. It doesn't do anything, presumably. Or is that... Oh, no, there we go. It's covering... Uh, it's covering a hole in there. Sorry, I'm getting a bit medieval on its ass, But uh, it is blowing. It's not something you'd repair, really. I wouldn't go in there and... Uh, but anyway, we've got our magnet in the middle. Is there a screw? Right down... No, there wouldn't be a screw. Is there anything right down in there? Bueller? Bueller? Anyway, that's very different to what I expected to see. Then what if I try and take off all this tape around here? Maybe this part's glued on. So it looks like we can get around the edge there and break that seal. So it looks like this hole thing comes apart as assembly but there's some glue on there so let me try and get all that out first so i haven't actually been able to get that open any further so sorry it's not that hugely interesting it basically uh just came down to um it blew the ass end out of the uh coil yeah okay you can probably rewind your own coil yeah go for it um but yeah that thing's just Cactus, you're better off just paying your 30 bucks or whatever for a new one, especially the massive excursions that went on this. It would have just deformed uh, all of the uh, coil stuff. So I couldn't actually get that apart any further, but obviously I just believe that's a uh, just a, like a permanent magnet uh, assembly that the coil goes through. Now I think what is happening here is because, well, the coil just, uh, obviously it's a moving coil uh, design. It moves within the magnetic field in there. Now, it's completely uh, destroyed and distorted now, of course, but I believe how it works is that you can see some glue on the back of there. Like, there's the glue around this edge here, which actually connects, uh, which uh, glues onto the top of there. But then I believe that we didn't see in the teardown because it was all torn off, that the coil was actually glued onto the textile dome or what you know I believe they, they're usually called like a textile uh, dome and that is what is um, causes this thing to tweet um, it's physically attached to this textile dome very close to the outer rim so that's really interesting but it's high frequency stuff but um, I felt massive excursions on this thing so this thing was just going thump 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 so it obviously uh you know the first time it did that it probably just sheared away uh from the tweeter even if the coil was uh still intact the first time i powered it up it uh you know it wasn't going to acoustically work anymore so that is yeah that's totally cactus but there you go that's inside a, one of these 
uh, textile dome tweeters. And I, I don't know, I expected something fancier than that. But anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. Coil attached, sort of fairly rigidly attached to the outer rim of that textile dome. Fascinating, with a big ass magnet behind it. So there's obviously going to be very little excursion in that, but that's not what you expect. That's what woofers are for, not these little, poor little tweeters. This one is abused. So anyway, <laughs> that's surprisingly simple. But you know, the, the, there's a lot of engineering and testing that, uh, you know, and performance validation that goes into these sorts of things. So I have no doubt it's a fairly uh, decent textile dome tweeter in terms of uh, response and performance and all that sort of stuff. It's not top shelf stuff, but anyway, there you go. <laughs> Hope you found that interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumb up. Thumbs up? There we go. As always, discussed down below. Catch you next time.